Okay. In this screencast, I'm going to do these hacker rack solutions for Python. So the first one here is introduction series, and there are multiple series here um, that are related to strings, sets, math. So I'm going to start with hello world. Okay. This one I've already sold. So this was sold me first in Python. Um, and here it is. Um, so it was simply a sum of two variables a and b so we take the input from the command line and then just send it to this function here uh, which adds them and returns it here and then we print that so that was it i resold it and this was my submission here i did it in multiple languages here as you can see mm. anyhow let's do this one so this is just a hello world um, default kind of program in the python so let's print hello world so and there's an exclamation sign here uh, let's submit the code in fact just run the code first and then submit so there is no yeah looks like it's fine like now let's move to the next one so raw input is the next one as you can see here um, now the task is to read a string from the console and print it so okay um, okay as you remember the first thing that we did was uh, solve me first and there was something called input from the console let's see what was the syntax over there so because I've forgotten it totally mm. solve me first ah, it should be in the warm-ups here yep there it is so that's how you take the input from the command line uh, from the console um, now let's say let's see what they want us to do um, okay so they want us to take a string from the console and then print it so it seems simple enough uh, we have to use raw input here and in, instead of the input so the, the one that we just saw is not valid here so let's call it string and then we use raw input uh, sorry uh, raw input and that should do it we're not printing anything here and we just take it in name and in a string and this just print it so let's print it uh, there's no semicolons here since i do quite a few languages and i have a hard time switching to the new one for the first five minutes at least so let's see if it worked um, okay it worked so basically it just takes a in raw input string and then prints it so submit it move on to the next one um, okay arithmetic operators so let's close the extra ones here 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 yeah all of them now in this one we are supposed to do to take two strings from the stdn and print three lines where the first line contains the sum of two numbers the second line contains the print of two print uh, the difference of two numbers okay uh, being uh, first being the first one and the second being the second so uh, and the third one is the product of two numbers so it's simple arith arithmetic so as you can see here there's an example here that like converts your raw input to a string uh, to an integer um, let's do that so we just take two inputs here a is equal to um, i and t how is it they were doing it okay so raw input ok 
okay I think that should do it let's just copy and paste it and make it variable too now we just need to print a uh, what was the requirement here sum of two numbers a plus b then we have to print a minus b then we have to print a okay and the c or c plus plus we have to print the next line i'm pretty sure if you do a new printing in the python you just need to uh, like use a new print statement it would uh, include a carriage return character so let's hope it works it's running the test case yeah it worked so you don't need any new line characters here like c or c plus plus now you just submit the code and we move on to the next one okay Uh, we go back to the introduction and do the next one solve the challenge now they are asking us to do some sort of division I guess um, task is reading two integers and print two lines the first should be contain contain integer division okay it should contain float division that's kind of strange let's read about it a bit more so Two kinds of divisions integer and float so python 2 and python 2 you divide one by another integer the result would always be an integer and okay so that's in python 2 i think they changed it in python 3 um, for example since python doesn't declare data types and advance you should know when you want to use integers okay so you need to know before uh, you even do some sort of like uh, division that uh, the respective um, two numbers that you're dividing are like integer or float kind of uh, things so if you know already you can use this one for for the for the float type things uh, numbers and this one for oh, this one for float type and two for integer so the task here is to take um, the first line contains the first integer a so let's do that here okay raw input input and then you also transform into integer what's going on here why I'm printing draw instead of raw okay so what is this one the second contains the second integer b now b is equal to conversion or to raw from raw to okay now we have two integers that we just got from the console um, now what we need to do is divide them as integers first and then the f as float so let's print that now print I think they changed it in the Python 3 so uh, let's also try that in Python after this Python 3 after this um, okay <coughs> we don't need to do any rounding so that should be fine input format is um, okay let's do that uh, let's run that submit that and we come back for python 3 and try that just to have some fun you know um, so it didn't work out uh, because 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 of what i have no idea four by three it's the first one should work that's what they ask for mm, the first line should contain the integer division the second should contain float division that's exactly what we're trying to do here mm. <coughs> I 
that's pretty strange. So, what is that? What is that? What is that? Four by three. There's, it's like there's something wrong here. So, let's pause the video here 